What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my buddies Mike and Jesse. How's it going? What's going on? Guys, we're talking about The Leftovers, Season 3, Episode 3, titled Crazy White Fella Thinking. Uh, this is the third episode of Season 3, obviously, and um, I don't know about you, but I'm really enjoying this this yeah. season. Yeah. Final season. It's pretty sad. Um, but I'm glad we've got some stick action. Yeah, so this is uh, huh. this is Scott Glenn who plays Stick in Daredevil, and he, he plays Kevin Garvey Sr. in this. Uh, real quick, I'll tell you what this is about, what happens. Uh, this is a very Kevin Garvey Sr.-centric episode. So, with the clock ticking towards the anniversary of the departure and emboldened by a vision that is either divine prophecy or utter insanity, Kevin Garvey Sr. wanders the Australian outback in an effort to save the world from apocalypse. I think that is the most succinct um, synopsis we've ever gotten from yeah right for any of the, up. the episodes that was a, it's that was actually, in Badlands that's definite Badlands um, is horrible The Walking Dead was bad too you know they yeah The Walking uh, Dead were very very awful we actually had to ad lib a few of them yeah we definitely that's the difference did. that's the difference between AMC and HBO maybe I guess yeah HBO uh, has yeah, a West couple extra bucks yeah. yeah West well again HBO yeah mm-hmm. um uh, I mean I'm glad to see that they, you know with leftovers. They tend to have many episodes of just about one character. Yeah. You know, with Kevin Jr., with Nora, with Matt, and now with Kevin Sr., um, I, I enjoyed that. You know, sometimes they can get watching other series, you can kind of get a little, eh, I'm not too. Like, like for instance, with Walking Dead and the Tara episode, how we destroyed it. And in no way am I comparing the two shows or the two actors and how well they, they act. But I, um, I comparing enjoyed it. networks and how well they do. Yeah, stuff, I enjoyed it with, uh, with leftovers especially because they're just such great actors and the characters are interesting. Yeah. yeah. So I was I was okay. really glad to see, um, you know what happened from where we left uh, last left off with the ladies dunking, who they thought was the correct sheriff uh, Kevin in the in the lake there, you know. Well, that's an interesting story too. What, what you know? Yeah. I guess when we when we talk about that. Uh, how that all came about. Yeah. But he's on this, so he's on this, you know, I was going to say walkabout, but I mean, kind yeah. of? It's kind yeah, like, of what's like... The, what's this fucking guy doing in the rocks? That's what I first saw. So I'm like, oh, here we go. Yeah. I'm going to be all confused about what the fuck is going on. You but... know, it was great that it, it really it really explained everything. Well, mm-hmm. uh, ep- contained in the episode, of course. So, we, yeah. yeah, he's hiding yeah. in the rocks. Well, my, my, I, what I really liked was him listening to the tape recorder and over late, you know, Underneath him driving around and, and climbing into the mm-hmm. right, he's listening to the tape of him and his son. Um, yeah. And I thought that was really cool. Uh, one that, you know, he said his son used to want to be a, a reporter, so his mother yeah. got him this tape recorder, and then she died a month. She got it for Christmas and then died a month later. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. So he yeah. takes his son on a road trip to, to Niagara Falls, and um, he records, and he's like, this is Kevin Garvey reporting, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like, really just, you know, and, and the fact that, he's listening to these tapes and when, and you know, when he's arrested, uh, he's like, I need that tape that you could take, take whatever you want, but just give exactly. me that tape. I need this tape. He's like, that's my yeah. son. He's like, and I want, although that. did it really mean that much to him because of that or because of what he says at the end when he's talking with Chris Sunday? I, I think it means, I think, I, I think kind of both. I think he loves his son. I think, I oh, think so obviously too. he loves, I think son, he loves but... his son. I think that he, but also, I think it was it was the fact that his son was the one that told him how to save the apocalypse and why he's on this yeah. this yeah. thing. So getting into that, I guess this we'll talk about the whole collecting the songs along the song line thing, which is what he's doing in the in the rocks, and then yeah. he and then he performs it. But um, why did he perform it? Like, was he practicing, or he just had to? No, he he, no, no, has, he has to, to do, do it. it. Yeah. I thought he had to do, but he he tells Christopher Sunday, he needs to know the song. But, but he tell right okay so so Christopher Sunday is a character where he has to collect that last. So he's collecting the songs of yeah. all the indigenous tribes along this song line, because his yeah. son tells him. Uh, oh, what happened with that? What did he? Oh, 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 the rain. Remember? Yeah, sing, Dad. You have to sing, and it'll help us stop. Yeah, and then the rain stopped. It made the, the rain stop. Floor. Yeah, that was cool, man. That was really cool. It was cool. Yeah. It was. It was. You know, I took. I took it like kind of like how Chris took. It. I just. I think it showed. Obviously, the hint is at the end, like Jesse said, but it definitely shows. You know, the love for his son. 
Um, but but I could see I could see both both handles on that because yeah. that tape is really really important. Um, but you know, for, for, for me, like I said in the beginning, I was a little worried because I was, I was hoping I wasn't going to get too confused with this and why he's going all fucking crazy, but they was, deliberately yeah, showed the, the song line on the map that he drew and he was crossing out the prior, the prior, um, tribes and the, and the places to perform these, you know, these ceremonies. But that's so my question. Think, I mean, what? That was my question. Why? So he learned the one song during the day, and then that night he went and lit the fires. I assume it is. We, you know, I just assume it's the same night um, that he and he performed it. Yet he told Christopher Sunday that he has to collect them all and then perform them. Or so, was he? Was he adding? Is he? Is he doing? Is he adding a new piece and then singing that I whole thing up to that that's point? What I was about to say. And then okay, like starts off the first point, gets the first song. Second, then second third. song comes. Do the whole he thing. He takes the first song, adds it with the second song, does that one. Then he goes down okay, the line okay, okay. until the yeah. final one is all the songs on the final dot. How did uh, how right. did he get there? Remember he uh, we oh we find out what happens how how we met him. Well, that, we, I was gonna say we find out how he contacted his son through the TV, but that's actually false. We don't really know yeah. how he did it. We just know that he was tripping balls. On God's tongue. On God's yeah. tongue, and woke up and he saw. Um, and he chicken. Saw, yeah. And he saw his. Actually, wait. No, was the chicken possibly Kevin? Because Patty did cluck at Kevin earlier, or later. Yeah, I was gonna say did. <laughs> but no, that's not. Tr- well, maybe no, maybe that's not true because he did say he did say it. he said, "Oh, it worked, it worked," and he's like Kevin, and he's like, and he says Kevin, and he, I forget what he tells him. Uh, last season into, into the well, it. Kevin. Throw her down the well. Oh yeah, and then he and at the end he says I love you, and then it cuts yeah. out. So okay, so no, that wasn't the chicken because I was expecting in that scene to be like, oh, this is where he's gonna say he saw his son or whatever. But he's like, no, I saw a chicken. And yeah, I went, that's and, what I was thinking. And he found the chicken. Then he went and found the chicken and the chicken. That was a great story. The chicken tells yeah. you what to do. And then the chicken pecked at the tape and he that's played the tape, the tape and yeah. it played that whole section of he's such a good actor it, I, I was thinking the whole time he's gonna say something random but no he goes and then i just said purpose that's what i want to know purpose yeah i right. said oh yeah like, you ah. have to write you have to ask him a, a question he's like yeah that's good man what about um yep. let's not let's not skip over matt real brief he sends like you said jesse he, scott i mean i think i could watch that guy just just shop yeah. at a supermarket. He's just <laughs> such a consummate actor. I just love watching that guy do stuff and the way he talks to people. And he's talking to yeah. the post guy, and he's just like, and he gets the package, and it's 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 the Bible. Um, and he's going, he's all mad, and he's scratching out shit. He's like, nope, nope. Oh, yeah. And I was like, wait, I thought he's writing like certain obscenities on it and all that stuff. Yeah. Like, what? Oh my god, it was it was actually really really cool. And you come to find out that Matt sent that to him. Yeah, uh, and then when it rains later, it washes all the marks away on it. So it's like, okay. Yeah, he just throws the damn thing out, and he calls Matt up. He's like, "What the fuck are you doing?" It's like, what yeah, he's it, it's a bit of jealousy, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, what do you guys think about that? Do you think you know why? Why does he feel like he's the more important Kevin Senior? That yeah. because yeah, I mean that was that was a pretty powerful thing. He says he goes. He's yeah. like Kevin's not in. I'm not in Kevin's story. He's in my story. I'm mm. the one that's going to save the world. Completely overlooking the fact that his son died twice and came back to life. Yeah. And that's what yeah. Matt says to him. He's like, yeah, but you weren't, you didn't die and come back. And he's well, like, but question- I'm saving the world, he says. Yeah. Well, I mean, in a way, it, 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 it's like, what is Kevin Jr.? Yes, Kevin Jr. has gone and come back and has gone and come right. back. Yeah, However yeah, many yeah. times total, we don't necessarily know. I don't think exact. But what is he doing to stop it? Oh, At yeah. least now he's with not Kevin doing Senior, anything. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Kevin Senior has a plan that he feels uh, is divine, and um, is trying to to do whatever it takes necessary to to fulfill this plan to sing these songs. And and the guy almost fucking dies. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, um, it's just it's just very um, uh, divine again when we find Kevin lost in in the woods in the jungle in the jungle in the woods in the desert to begin with 
and where he ends up in in this woman Grace's exact location where her children were found, you know, after the departure. So there's something that's connecting these dots. You know what I mean? Well, you know, here's a question: Where did he get the dots in the first place? Who? How did he? So he it's he extrapolated the their rituals. Well, right. Yeah, what I'm fair. saying is he extrapolated that, and he says you have to sing to save the world. So he just found out that there's a thing called a song line. And he, you know what I mean? Like, that was his own thing. He wasn't told that. Am I wrong? Yeah, but I don't... There might have been some kind of history of it or but something. But that's what I'm saying. So he went Australia and he found that, he or learned. it was presented to him somehow, and he and he accepted yeah. it and was like, oh, I think this is what I got to do. Well, remember, he told Chris Sunday at the end there uh, that that's what he has to do because when he started the tape, he didn't rewind it, didn't do anything. He started the tape where it was at, and it was right there. Sing, Dad. You gotta sing to well, make right, it go away. Right, but that's what I'm saying. Where did the whole song it's, line come in? He well, figured that out thing, on his own. The funny thing he's is, he's in with, Australia, so right. he figured, you know, the Aborigines there have a ritual yeah. of making rain come and go. There you go. Right, right. Yeah. The funny thing though is with with Christopher Sunday is that he said my song isn't to take isn't to stop the rain. It's to bring it. It's to bring it. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good. Uh, that's a good point. So, Will, I think he said, Will but in what language or something like that? Oh, he says it could be different. It could have different meanings or something. He said, yeah, yeah. yeah well, regardless, it's it's just uh, it's it's interesting. And what happens to poor Chris Sunday is oh, he goes the up more on the ironic roof. part of it. He didn't get know? so he goes up I on the roof to scene. fix his thing. I want yeah, and he and he and he's like, oh no no, don't listen to words she says. That's not the lady comes that he, he he's the lady that stole the, he stole the address from to go to Christopher Sunday. And yeah. then he rolls off, and then he fucking kills him. Like that he is fucking falls on. The Don't you listen to her? Yeah, that was crazy. And then, yeah, the guys that are in the ambulance on the way there fucking kick his ass out because he's trying to get whatever little information. Were is you nodding? Yeah. He's like, Christopher, was that a nod? <laughs> Did you? That was a really I'm crazy scene elder. too. That was a really crazy scene too, man. Yeah, he's just yeah. he's going through and he's trying to survive there. Then this guy comes and kills himself, like. Yeah, again, but, you, and... but you know what though again that's he killed himself because of the departure because he was like yeah. they didn't take me i didn't get taken now there's a theory going around the internet that it wasn't because of the departure but it's because of the people that Nora's going to go see they wouldn't take him there's a theory that they ask the question would you kill a baby to cure cancer and okay. apparently people that say no don't get accepted to see their loved ones. They're accepted to see their loved ones. Yeah. Wait, where's that question from? Uh, that's what he said before he killed himself. He he yeah. uh, he asked Kevin yeah, Sanders, oh. like, would you kill a baby that's, to okay. cure cancer? No. Yeah. He said no. And he's like, that's what I said. And then he kills himself. Burn himself alive. Okay, good. Okay, I, good. I would, yeah, I didn't I would put that together. tend to agree with that. And there's also a theory that Nora says yes, and that's where we get Sarah from. Interesting. Because she goes to the other side. Interesting. Okay. Oh, my God. All right, well, I have a question for you at the end of this to, when, we, when yeah. we're wrapping up. Um, well, okay, so we mentioned Grace earlier and her children. So it just, it just occurred to me when you were mentioning it earlier that that site where he – so he gets bit by the snake. Um, yeah. You know, Kevin, and then and he and he makes his way to this memorial, right? I didn't realize. I didn't. Obviously, it didn't click. At yeah. well, at first, we don't know what it is. But anyway, this woman finds well because it was blurry. It was it was showing from his perspective of dehydration and right. But I didn't put two and two together that that like yeah. while they once we talked and we heard that we talked, they talked and we heard Grace's story. I didn't realize that that was where he ended yeah. up. Is is that thing? But that story is pretty crazy because. Um, so that, it's like two parts, right? It's her, she was at, what was it again, Jess? She was out shopping at... The Big W, what'd you say? Uh, yeah, the Big W. The Big W, which you have a little tidbit for in a minute, right? Um, yeah. She was shopping there when the disappearance happened, when the, the, um, the departure happened. She makes her way home, and she sees that her five children... And her husband are all gone. And they had they had made it this church in their yard, and they were at the at the the church, and these kids, whatever. And then, but everyone's gone. She assumes they all left. Yes. Turns out the father was the only one that departed, and the children thought that their mom departed too, and they left the the lands. Which, by the way, is this is the one flaw I have in this whole thing, only because it's like really. 
why would you leave your home? Why would you leave food and water and shelter to go nowhere? I thought they see. Are you sure they said that they thought she died? Yes, that it, was the reason why they left. She oh, she I says they, I, I think they she, said you no, know she, that they left to find her. No, I believe they left because there was nothing left for them. Yeah, and I think they thought all, she like, said that strong, heavy into the we'll all go together because you know that church is the same church from yeah. the beginning of this season. Yeah, okay. and. uh yeah. Yeah. She. Yeah. So yes, that's what she said. She said. She At least said, I think it was. It looked a lot like it, that I, church. It's yeah, similar. Of the I mean, obviously, it wasn't the same exact one because it was. Or was it? Well, hundreds of years later, a hundred years later, and upkeep could happen. <laughs> hey, well, they were taking it apart to build the ark. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, didn't we see them building it in pictures? We saw them building it in pictures. I think. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Um. So that's so that's part one of this, right? Mm. They find the kids on the. It's on the prop. The kids are on the property. They find the kids. Turns out that they all died because whatever, right? They they were out there, idiots. Yeah, Not like the Oregon element. Trail again. Yeah. yeah, the elements. You know, the elements. Um, gone. and then she finds out. So how does she? Okay, how does she find out again that? Oh, oh, oh! The page in his hand. Yeah. So early on, he takes a hundred. Matt had sent Kevin some money. He takes like a hundred dollar bill, rips a page out of the the manuscript wraps it in there puts it in something right he takes it out and he's holding it in his hand right before he passes out grace finds him reads that takes it as a sign um and that page was talking about a policeman a police chief named kevin can do all came back from the dead this and that it's been to the other side whatever that was really cool. She, yeah, so that's how we find out why she thought that that guy was good. The, just the simple fact that they there was a police chief in the area named Kevin. Mm. Pure was, coincidence. Was yeah, exactly. Pure but coincidence. The, the, the coolest, the coolest part of of that whole dialogue between the two is when she finally finishes. I was just waiting to see what Kevin was going to say, you know. And he's like, she's like, oh, I think I, I bet you think I'm I'm crazy for believing this. I'll turn myself in after this and all this kind of stuff. And he's like, I don't think you're crazy. He's like, you just, um, got you just the found the wrong Kevin. Yeah, you know? yeah. He's and like, then you just it just got ends, the wrong Kevin. You know, and I just thought that was so cool. You know yeah, how good. that how that ended like that. But yeah, so we'll see. Because I mean, I, I'm sure I can speak for all of us when we say we thought it was maybe Kevin Junior that she was looking for, right? Well, because technically, they, it is. Yeah, it is Kevin Junior. Well, she's looking for m- maybe, maybe not. Well, no, no, you know, it is because the page no, said him. I, I, I was know, talking about him. But, but maybe, in fact, it turns out that Kevin Sr. is the Kevin she really needs. N- needs being the operative word. The, the right one. Yeah. The one that will. Needs being because, the right word, right, yeah. Exactly, because it is basically still just a page that she found of this book. And yes, it talks about Kevin Jr. coming back and going, you know, uh, coming back from the dead and all this kind of stuff, but... Maybe in the end he's right, and the and the and the right Kevin, the one that will save them, the one that is is trying to do these songs to stop the rain, and and obviously she has um, a big belief in this. That's why they're building an ark. They have people building this ship or this ark on her property in the first place. So even though the the paper does speak of Kevin Junior, she might have had found the the right Kevin. You know, right. I just think that it would be a cool little twist. That would yeah. be cool for us. Definitely possibility. Yeah, for us. Jesse, what so. about what did you find out about the whole arc and um, those people that are on there? there? There's a theory going around. Yeah, there's a Some lot of theories now. Yeah, bunch of theories on the internet yeah. right now. We got one including the big W. That one's coming up. But the first one is that the people building the arc yeah. are her children uh, after they died and came back. Apparently, it aged them, or they're all in heaven, anyways. I mean, it's a little, it's a little far fetched. However, the the people who create the show are teasing the crap out of us because there's images going around, and you can look it up, of the children wearing very similar clothing, yeah, to the adult yeah. versions, quote unquote, that are that building, building it, yeah. the ark. Um, and it's so obviously she found, I guess, in that page it said that there was a flood coming or something. Is that why they're building the ark? No, they Why were building they... the ark before that. 
Yeah, somehow well, I, they have this. They believe the rains are coming. They believe the eight days, yeah. seven. Oh, years. so just just as part of the departure it's just a thing. System, okay, so yeah. it's just one of the things. Okay, so uh, Jesse, what's that other one about uh, the big W? All right, so some people believe that because of the movie, uh, it's a, it's mad, it's mad, a mad, 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 mad world. Mad, mad world. Mm -hmm. And the fifth episode's title is "It's a Matt, 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 Matt world." Uh, that it's going to have a similar play at the Big W, where they're looking for something, and it's literally right in front of them, not under a Big W, but like where the palm trees are, a Big mm -hmm. W. Yeah. So they're thinking that, that it's going to be something that's there, but not really right there yeah. that you can tell. Obviously, that's definitely something because they they yeah. titled the episode that. So you yeah. know, I mean, we're two away from that, but I mean, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be really good. And it's it's you know, me and Jesse obviously got onto this series late, and Chris was always telling us you gotta watch this, you gotta watch this. But you know, I'm glad I did. Um, you know, I'm glad that I I definitely checked this out, and we're doing this for you guys. But mm -hmm. um, I definitely feel that um, there's something to do divine with with Kevin Senior. You know, just for the simple fact that he he feels that the rains are coming, and he has this tape that acknowledges this, and now he meets this woman Grace, and these people are building for the flood, and, well, and you know, so ha there's too many check marks for me. Not just that he was the first Kevin to hear voices and see people. Mm -hmm. It happened. He says it happened like exactly. five minutes yeah. after the departure. Yeah, which is a great scene Three because or five. It, yeah. It shows him, it, it goes behind his head, and then all of a sudden, you just see him turn. And that was the first time he heard it. He heard someone speaking, and he was like, what? You know, yeah, I love that. It's really, that was, it's really interesting. This damn show is just like, I'm telling you, the show. But I, 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 think, yeah. I think we should wrap it up. We're getting on to 20 minutes here. But I do have a question I want to ask you guys, because it's something I was thinking about. Um, mm. Honestly, I mean, okay, really, we didn't, really not much happens in this episode, um, but we, I mean, we did, we did find out about a lot of things. We did, we did, yeah. we found out a lot of motivation for Kevin senior. Right. Um, mm -hmm. uh, but that's, so it was a very contained episode and, and I understand that we needed it, but how do you feel that because this was a whole episode just on Kevin and what his role is in this, how do mm. you feel about that? Since there's only five left, like there's legit eight episodes and it's done. So we have only five, excuse me, five left to, to fill out and answer all of these questions. So I like, think it's going to be a very rushed final season. I mean, because, uh, yeah, I'm like, they put a whole episode just to this yeah. particular thing. So it's got to mean something. That's what I was, that's what I was going to say. I like, was not say, filler. Like, there's no time but, for filler. This isn't The Walking Dead, you know, 13 yeah. episodes where you got to fill. Yeah. It's no filler. This no, has got to be I, it. I definitely, like I was just saying, I think there's a divinity to Kevin Sr. So there was a reason for it. Yeah. You know what I mean? There was a reason for all these... Um, Nora centric episodes and Kevin Jr. episodes and Matt episodes and now um, Kevin Sr. So I don't think it's going to be a rush job or anything like that. I, I really have the idea that there's a reason for him. If he fulfills his 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 quest of uh, of of doing this song or finding out what he would even have to say now that that um, Sunday Chris is done, is, yeah. done, is gone, is dead. You know, will he be able to do this? Will he not? Will the floods come? You know, so I definitely feel that there, um, you know, that there's a reason f for him and he's going to be pivotal. And then maybe Kevin Sr. won't be as pivotal as maybe we thought prior to this episode. I don't know. I know the next episode is titled Good Day Melbourne. So maybe Kevin that's, Sr., Kevin Jr. meet up. Yeah, well, that's that means I think I think we're at the next arriving. one. I think Kevin and and Nora are going to be in. Arrive. They're going to get to Australia, yeah. which I can't wait to see. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just it's. I, can I tell you what my my overall theory is? Sure. It's yeah. a, it's aliens. I don't think I'd I love think it. Would kill I'd it, love dude. it if there was a not if it wasn't a divinity about it and it was just aliens. I would love that if that's how they ended it. Like like the end of Men in Black, you open up the locker and you find out that they're you find that they're just a little world inside of someone's locker inside of like a, a intergalactic bus station. Like that would be amazing to me. I'm just saying that would be amazing. Hey. I want hey, the whole thing to be like, guess what? We fooled all of you. You thought all this stuff, and we were talking about quantum physics and radiation and teleportation and God and and divinity and the and the flood and nope. I mean. 
That's definite something because the first season focused mainly on religion. The second season was somewhat mainly on More religion, mystery, somewhat on yeah. science. We and this one's going yeah, more towards science. I mean, to a, to an extent, because in the end, it still is about faith and religion. Yeah, this, this season but is about science look, is taking a forefront. I wouldn't say it's religion think, I, so I much, Mikey. So. I would I say it's so. about. I would say faith. Look I would at, say look, faith plays a big well, part, and faith, faith doesn't have to be religion. religion. It just has to no, be a faith in something. No, but you're believing in something greater. Yeah. You're believing in a, a, a superior um, uh, someone. You know what I mean? I, I, to me, I mean, who knows? Could it be some kind of? Could there be no God in this world? Could there be no religious form in this world? And could it be an alien thing? Um, and they're on some some spaceship out in some part of space or something. All these people that were departed. I don't. I don't like. I mean, I think the big question is. Let me ask you guys this: Do you think these people are gone or are will not necessarily dead? But do you think that they're gone and they'll never meet with the people that they left? Bef- you know what I mean? Hmm. Are they defi- I definitely? I don't know. I feel gone? like I. I feel like will it's... they come back? You know, will they come back at the at this at this day? Will will they come back and the people that didn't leave in the original departure go? Like like. You know, there's know. there's there's a show there's a show on Netflix that it's a British show. It's from a few years back, but my kids watch it. It's like a it's like a kid show, more yeah. more or less. But it's like all preteens and teenagers in it. What ha- it's called the Spartacle Project, and what happens is this machine went off and it took all the adults out of the world and phased them to a different dimension, a parallel parallel dimension. It was a parallel. <laughs> it was it was too. It, it basically it. split. It split, so it took the our dimension and split it. And now the kids are here, and the parents are here. So, yeah. you know, could I be mean, something yeah, like I'm that. Getting something important that we saw in season two. What's that? The manhole covers. I don't remember. Did, what? The manhole cover exploded in front of Kevin. It was John. And then oh, later right. that day, the departure happened. The manhole or whatever exploded there in uh, Jordan. There we go. And it didn't fully explode. It only left a crack in the street. And nobody departed because it was, I guess, contained. So so it could be something like that. It could be something, something scientific something, like that. Or, or the planet. Or the planet. It could be something or, inside or the planet. You, you got me thinking there. Maybe <laughs> they're not gone they're just out in space, dead, frozen, solid. I don't know. I guess I they mean, got obviously, transported off the planet into space. It's obviously, um, it's there's obviously been that theory, you know, going through my head the whole time about is this a religious thing? Is this, yeah, because um, yeah. we never knew. We don't know how. We don't. Well, know everyone's why. going to make. That's a problem, and I call yeah. it a problem because only because you know, not to put down anyone who who has religion in their life, but I just mean it's like. Everything that happens, people can attribute or will attribute to religion, regardless. And it's like that's their that's people's go to. And I feel like when you when you don't know the answer, right? When you right when you and that's fine because it helps you, you know? cope. But at the same time, I feel like people can get closed off from the true answers. And if and whatever answers they're truly looking for, they get closed off. For example, the wife uh, Brett Butler last episode when her husband had a heart attack and fell, she told everybody that he departed because she didn't want to. She just rather Break that than the truth or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, she wanted to, you know, have everyone believe in something. Yeah, which is fine. But I get. I mean, listen, we got you know a handful of episodes left. I'm excited to see what's going to happen. Me too. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, we can I'm, sit here forever and talk about what we think because in the end, it'll probably be something completely different. I know, you know. I still think it's I, it was all Gary Busey. Yeah, it, it was. And, it was and, all Gary and, Busey's fault. And before before we wrap it up, because I don't want to. I mean, we said that twice already, but ha, do you? All right, quick, quick answers uh-huh. from you guys. Happy ending. Um, everybody meets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We meet our family members again, or something along those lines, or um, the distraught ending. The you know, we don't get necessarily the answer of where these I'm, people went, and I'll give you, I'll give you, I'll give you a third option, which I think is a fulfilling ending. Whether it's good or bad for the people in it, I think <laughs> will end up being fulfilled. Like, okay, I get it. I hope. I hope. Yeah. yeah. I hope. All right. Uh, 
I, I think we're just going to have Kevin's family left. We're going to get like, we're going to get to see Jill just in college, just her alone in America. Kevin in Australia with his dad. Uh, and that's it. Nora's because dead. there's no other Garveys. Well, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Nora was there, remember? Nora was there. And yeah. was that the future? Okay, we can't. Well, I'm yeah, sure we'll not... see it. Hopefully, we'll, we'll see, see next see. time. Um, all Write right, down so... in the comments. Write down in the comments yeah. your kind of theories and ideas. Too, oh, please, like yeah. Let said, us know what you guys go... think. We can go forever. Yeah. Uh, all right, cool. Uh, so we're going to end it here, guys. We want to thank you so much for watching. Um, Mike, where can they reach us? You can always reach us at YouTube on all the social medias, of course. YouTube, Instagram. Don't forget Facebook. And also, don't forget iTunes. Uh, check us out on all these social medias. We love hearing comments like we just said, especially on this video because there's just so many theories and so many different ways that, that we feel the show can go. So definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below. Well, we have our comic listing right down there below us. You go there, third person pod, get your comics. Three months, three bucks, buck a month. There you go, unlimited comics. And Game of Thrones Houses is a semi-weekly thing. So you got one last week, you don't get one this week, but you get one next week, so there you go. Aww. Yep. And, yeah. we're, <laughs> and we're still doing Badlands. Uh, that's still running, so definitely uh, you know, check out all the videos on that. And yep. lastly, I, I haven't promoted this at all on this show yet, but I do a, I do a, a podcast with, uh, with another one of my buddies. It's called Retro Squat. You can get that podcast at RetroSquat.com or any podcasting services all around the world you can get it um it's a pretty cool it's a it's it's a retro thing where we take properties from the 80s and the 90s and we kind of mash them together like so like say two movies from the 80s and but they're randomly chosen and we mix them together and see what we can come up with and then you know we do a bunch of different other genres in there too so retrosquat.com go check it out um i'd love if you guys uh you know listen to that and see what you link so uh that's gonna do it for us here on the leftovers discussion we hope you enjoyed it. And like Mike said, get in the comments. Let us know what you think. So uh, that's it. And we will see you guys on the next discussion for The Leftovers.